Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today I want to make a little video about how to improve your vShare experience. Uh, obviously, everybody knows that vShare you get from the Cydia store, and you can download cracked apps um, for to try out. So the first thing I want to tell you is a little bit about vShare. Now, vShare uses this website here, www.appvv.com, and you can get that with your uh, Mac browser or your Windows browser. You know, you just pretty much type this into the Google search. I use the Chrome app. Uh, the Chrome uh, browser because it will let you translate the page into whatever language you like. Uh, if you see that the web page is all in Chinese, that's kind of hard for us. Uh, so we'll, we'll just hit translate. And what it'll do is it'll translate right into uh, English. And you can now see that you have everything in English and you can go look for apps and things like that. As long as you've got uh, app sync on your iOS device, you'll be able to download these, throw them in YouTube, in iTunes, and then put them on your device through iTunes. And uh, that's that. So I just wanted to show you that it's not just an app on the uh, iOS device, it's also a web page. Now let's close this web page out. Now we have the iPad here. I have it running on 6.1, uh, the newest jailbreak with the evasion. And uh, you'll see that now we're gonna go into vShare. Now the problem with vShare today is that once you open it up, uh, you'll see this message pop up. It says, you know, it has a new version. It adjusts language settings, add new languages, blah, 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 bug fixes and all that stuff. And you want that, right? So we go to upgrade it. And what's going to happen is it's going to download it. Let me fast forward through this. Okay, so that download downloaded the update, but where do you, how do you implement it? You can't. So you go into settings, and you see that you're still at 1.0.53. So what they say is that if you're having problems upgrading to uh, one point, I think it's 1.0, 1 1.055, that's going to be the new one. That's how you know you got the new one in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to close out vShare. We're going to our springboard here and we're going to delete it. Let's delete it. Now let's go into Cydia. We don't want that app there because we want to be able to install it fresh and clean. So if you go into installed, let's just make sure that vShare is not installed. And if it is, even though you erased it on the desktop, you still have it in Cydia. So let's erase it from Cydia as well. We're going to remove it completely. We want it out. We don't want it somewhere downloaded. We want nothing. So it's going to be gone. So now we completely got rid of 5.3. Okay. So originally, you know, I grabbed that from insanely uh, repo, but... You know, we have the new version now. So let's go into sources, edit, add, and we're going to type in repo. We're going to add this source dot app vv dot com forward slash. Okay, take note of that. Add the source. Okay, now we're going to re return to Cydia. And now we hit done, and now we have that source. Here's the source. And what it's got is just basically vShare in there and AppSync. If you don't have AppSync and you're new at this, install that AppSync for your device, for your iOS. Uh, if you're at 6.1 like this iPad is, it's uh, iPad 2, 6.1 or something like that. It's jailbroken with evasion. And now you have AppSync 5.0. So you can install that. But I want to here, since I already have AppSync, we're going to install 1.055. You completely erased the 5.3 off your device. You erased it off Cydia. And now you're going to install the new version. All right, so now we're going to return to Cydia. And you're going to see now that you have it installed. VShare down here, 1.055. Okay, let's come out of Cydia. On your desktop, you have the new vShare. Let's open it up, check it out, see what it added. So we got some bug fixes. Let's go to settings first, make sure we have it. Yep, 1.055. And let's go into now categories. And what's nice is they added newsstand. There you go. They added a newsstand tab. They used to have just games and apps. Now they have newsstand. So now you can go get all your magazines and, and articles and things like that. So that's a good thing. And, you know, management, you always have your updates and everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This shows you how to upgrade from 1.0.53, how to get rid of it, how to throw the source in, and put the new 1.055 app uh, vShare. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you.